So who are you? I am Hugo Carvajal. H-U-G-O. C-A-R-B-A-J-A-L. Very nice. And what did you just do? We just did 2012, the beginning of the end, yeah. the beginning, again. Again. <laughs> so, um, your character, so this was a play, and it was by the La Pena Experimental Theater uh, at La Pena in Oakland, and you guys have been working on this play for how long? Uh, since the beginning of the year, I think, a little bit, yeah. either January or February or there. Yeah. I, um, I wanted to compliment you specifically on your body movement. Um, just almost contortionist, but not to the point where it was to really express the emotions in a non absurd way. You know, just really strong movement. Um, I, in particular, when you first came on and you were going through your um, kind of gyrations around what was going on with you? The very, very top of the show? Yes. Or, or let's see, wait, wait. Uh, I got here about 8.30, so when would that have been? Was it right after a monologue? Something. You were having a fit, though. <laughs> Just being, being it, was, it was more like. Um, was it by myself? Yeah, it was by okay. yourself, yeah. and it was a lot of chest, like a lot of yeah. uh, um, torso movement. Wrestling with the inner demons, you know, mm -hmm. giving into it, fighting it, wrestling it, being pulled by it, being pushed by it. Anything that has to do with you know the, our inner demons and what, and what we do to wrestle with them and fight them and put them in their place and put us in our place and all that struggle. Yeah, and, and um, God, I wish I had gotten it because just the the staccato of the movements and the um, syncopation of the movement in your chest. I I, I dance. So the, the syncopation of the movement in your torso and in your um, upper arms was really immaculate. I loved it. It's nice. Um, so what, yeah, so your character is some kind of junkie, right? <laughs> he's, a, he's a what? He's a power... Coke addict. Is he a power broker or something like that? Or? He's an investment banker. In, okay, okay. So. Which is... Uh, the top of the banking business they sort of they keep the businesses going they they, they, they make the money they, they create and destroy businesses altogether yeah, um, yeah so they have a lot of power and a lot of say and so that power can get to their head a lot and, right. and so what was the um, the apex or the you know the, the the apex of his like his moment like what was what had driven him to that moment of, of this play like where he just loses it well, I think one thing you missed is that at the beginning of the show he lost his job was, oh right okay yeah yeah right he was he was told to, to resign by force I got that yeah okay um, so that literally dropped him off of his, you know, his And, and why, his did he lose it? why did he lose his job to begin with, was what was going on with him? They gave him a lot of bullshit, a lot of crap about... Excuse me, excuse he me, just, he just, No, that's okay. He wasn't producing enough, even though he... He was, was producing well enough, I think. I mean, it could be tied to race, it could be tied to so many things. Okay. But uh, the excuse that they told him is that he was under investigation for insider training. And they didn't want that in their in the company, so they needed him to, to okay. go away. And and where did you um, in yourself? What did you derive? How did you derive him? How did you? Uh, that's a stupid word to use there. Um, where did he come from inside of you? What did, what? How did you identify or link with him? It was it was quite a struggle to find him actually. Yeah. I'm the complete opposite in that sense, and so I, I just had to go. Um, just to, to a place that I'm not familiar with and just let myself be vulnerable there and let myself live there and see what it was like and, 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 and walk around looking at people as if I'm better than everybody else and see what that feels like and, be, and you know, just sort of just take people in differently as I normally would. You know, normally I'm like, who is this person? And for a while I was like, I'm going to try and see what it's like to be like, I'm better than them, I'm better than that. Because that's what he is. He thinks he's better than everything else. And that's what he believes wholeheartedly that he is better. He's fully in control of everything. He has absolute power. Yeah, wow. So to think that, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot. It takes a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's just practice, <laughs> practice, practice, practice. Yeah. I, what, I was going to ask you one more thing. Um, 
So this is going to be running tomorrow night and the next night, so Friday and Saturday night, and I hope that people will come to this. I'm going to try to upload it tomorrow. So um, I did want to ask you one more thing. Hmm, I'm drifting. Maybe we should end it right there. <laughs>